How did some of the BBC's biggest stars like Jimmy Savile get away with abusing so many victims for so long? For nearly three years, a judge-led inquiry has heard from hundreds of witnesses, naming presenters like Savile, Stuart Hall and other household names. That review led by Dame Janet Smith is finished and was supposed to be published last month. But the Metropolitan Police delayed its release, saying the findings could hamper their ongoing investigations. BBC presenter Liz Kershaw's claims she was assaulted at Radio 1 in the 1980s by another member of staff prompted the setting up of the review. She told me the delay is unacceptable. The body blow came when they said, oh, actually, it's not going to be published at the end of May now. And to add insult to injury was the fact that that was at the request of the Metropolitan Police. You can only feel disappointment when it repeatedly gets stopped from being published and you just left wondering, was it a waste of time? Is this ever going to see the light of day? What was the point? Dame Janet Smith's review was set up to examine the culture and practices of the BBC here at Broadcasting House and at its premises across the country. The review team has already acknowledged that this delay is disappointing for the victims, but it believes that the Metropolitan Police should have the time it needs to conduct its investigations. Liz Kershaw is demanding she and other victims now get a rough indication of when the review will be released. For the Metropolitan Police to say, don't publish this report because it could prejudice current or future investigations, I mean, that's open-ended. People have already waited 30 years. Are we going to have to wait another 30 years? And if they have got an ongoing case, tell us more about it. They've been quite happy to put famous names out there in the frame, in the public domain, and, and have their, their reputations trashed, only then not to charge them. And yet now they're being very secretive about what's going on. The lawyer representing many of Jimmy Savile's victims is also calling for greater clarity. Every time delays are built into the system, uh, the victims you know, gear themselves up for the release of that report uh, and then they're disappointed and they just can't move on with their lives and, and put this behind them. Uh, and so that's why to know some sort of a time frame is so important for them. So for now, those who have waited so long must continue to wait.